Hey guys, and today we are going to talk all about roamers in general and how do they work and what you need to do when playing as a roamer. Whenever you are a beginner or an experienced player, this guy will be able to help you throughout your journey in climbing. There are different types of roamers that you can use in game depending on your playstyle and your team needs. First on our list is the utility supports. Utility supports provide buffs, poking, enhancement, crowd control, or sustain for your backline. They normally don't provide that much vision due to being squishy. But there are some utility supports that can be good in visioning like Sunbin, Yaria, Guiguji, and Dachao. These heroes has a good proactivity during the early since most of the utility supports have lesser proactivity. If your map is still not pressured yet, then other utility supports can still rotate around the map and provide vision. Otherwise, they can't be able to do it, so you have to take control of the map in order for you to provide more vision. Normally, you want to use utility supports if you have a good tanky hero in your lineup. Sometimes they can still work even if you don't have any frontliner, so it usually all comes down with having a good macro for it to be effective. Next thing is the tank support. Tanky supports are usually your main initiator in team fights. They can provide a lot of playmaking in your team. They can soak up a lot of damage due to their tankiness. They are more active when it comes to proactivity and providing vision. They normally don't provide that much utility to save your backline, but they usually can block your enemies from going to your backline. Heroes like Zhang Fei has a good balance of utility and initiating, so you have the option to save your teammates or initiate team fights. You also have the option to flank around your enemies so that you can provide threat for their backline. Tank supports in general is to create space for your team during team fights. And be sure not to neglect your backline and provide peeling for them. You can use tank supports if your team is lacking a frontliner and your backline needs to peel for them. Lastly is the utility mage. Utility mage in general only provides crowd control for your team. They are usually good in follow-ups and initiating team fights since their crowd control can set up easily and can be layered when combos with other abilities. Take note that they don't have much mobility, so be sure to position yourself where you can easily land your crowd control if someone tries to dive the backline. They can also stop heroes that has a high mobility in your enemies, so be sure to use them if you want to counter high mobility heroes. They can also provide a lot of vision and proactivity for your team since they can easily check the bush and clear the path. And that is pretty much it for today's Roamer Guide video. Hope you learned something today and I'll see you on the next video.